Ultra Video Parity. Oi, I just finished a live stream. Oh, about an hour. No. An hour or 40 minutes ago. Anyways, a few hours ago. And one of the chatters asked me if I could help them find a Android application that they could connect to their Kali Linux machine. And I found one. Remote to go RDP allows you to connect from Android to Linux. It's entirely free. What first you, you need to do is you need to install XRDP on your Linux machine, your Kali Linux. So you're going to have to connect to your Kali Linux machine and you're going to need Linux administrative privileges. And I will show you really quickly. And you're going to need to enter these commands. So you, what you're going to do is you're going to install the XRDP service. First, you want to update and then upgrade your Kali Linux distribution. And then you're going to install the XRDP, and then you're going to start the XRDB service. And you might need to type in the second command. And then finally, you're going to update XRDB P so that it starts every time your Linux machine boots. So you, you can copy and paste these commands. You just copy, paste, and you would enter them into a Linux command command prompt window like this and hit enter and as long as they're you know copy and paste it correctly and there's no typos you should not get any errors so once you've installed XRDP and you've enabled it to start at boot and that's successful all the commands were successful, no errors, then you can move on. Now you can quickly use Windows, it depends on what version of Windows, but every version of Windows since Windows XP, 7, 8, Vista, 10 have the remote desktop connection. So you can just use the free Windows remote desktop connection. And if you want to test, then try to connect to that Kali Linux machine if you have DNS resolving on your local network you can type in the the host name of that Linux machine at a command prompt if you don't know your host name you can type in host name and that'll tell you then you want to connect to that you would enter that here or the IP address if DNS doesn't work for some reason the NetBIOS you could also t enter in the IP address so you should know the IP address of your Kali Linux machine if you don't know that, yeah, oh, the, oh, come on, come on, the, the emergency vehicles in America are so, they're, they're ridiculous, they don't need to be that loud. Moving on, I don't want to show you my public IP address, so, all right, but you could go to a command prompt and type in if config, and it will tell you your local IP address of that Linux machine, all right. Let's move on to God damn it. Okay, let's move on. All right. Then once you've completed that, you want to download this free tool, Remote to Go RDP VNC for Android, from the Google Play Store. It's entirely free, and I I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna take my Android, and I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna demonstrate it. I'm working on getting, I have another camera, I have a camcorder, and now I've got three cameras basically. I can use this as a camera, I've got that camera, and I've got a camcorder back here. So I'm working on maybe, I can use that to make videos, that's another reason why I bought it. But also I can, I can hook it up and I can, you know, maybe I'll have a camera hanging, showing from below so that I can demonstrate. For, for now I have to walk around. So you have to go to the Google Play Store and you have to install the app. And then once it's installed, you, it's called Remote to Go. So you open it. It's a free download. Say no. You don't need to buy the license unless you want to remove the ads. So I'm going to say no. Now you're going to be, it'll show you this screen. Hopefully I'm getting this on camera correctly. 
new connection, type in, or excuse me, click on new connection. Now make sure, this is very important, since you're connecting to your Kali Linux and my, that chatter wanted, I just set them up with RDP. Now if you have VNC, I showed you how to install RDP, which will allow you to connect to Windows machines as well. If you have VNC for some reason, you would select VNC, otherwise select RDP. That's the protocol that the server is using, which is your Kali Linux box, so you have to get that right. For this demonstration for my YouTube live stream chatter, we'll set, select the default, click OK. The only fields you have to, you have to enter in a label, I don't know why that is. We'll just enter in test. Well, whatever, whatever the fuck. We'll just enter in something really quick. Then your host name, whoops, I don't need to mess with that. Damn it. You're, you have to enter in a host and we're gonna put in the actual host that I'm gonna connect to. Or the IP app, god damn it. Oh, there we go. Six, I don't like Androids, I just use it for my business, that's all. Otherwise I can't stand it. 620, click OK. And then, now, if your DNS is not resolving, maybe NetBIOS isn't working, in the host field, enter the IP address of your Kali Linux. Now you don't have to do you don't have to enter anything else except for on my Android, if I were to connect without the credentials, a login box will show up, which is what you're supposed to get, which signifies that the XRDP is working. However, on my Android, the built-in virtual keyboard does not work with this application. It doesn't pop up when I try to click on the username or password field, so I can't enter a password. I fucked around with it for a while, I couldn't get it to work. However, if you enter in your credentials, which is your username, which I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm gonna go disappear now for just a few seconds, because I don't, you know, what I'm saying. I'll be right back. I'm entering in the user name, so you want to get this right. It's the username that you use to log in to your Kali Linux machine. So set the password. I fucking hate Androids. You, you don't have to worry about the domain. Now click the back. Click on the back. It'll say, it'll the click back again. That's all you need to enter. Say yes, because you're going to say your changes, changes. Now you've got the connection. If you just press this for like a second, you'll get a pop-up menu. You can connect, edit, or delete. We'll click on connect. Now as long as I enter the right password, there we go. It's going to, it's logging in now. There you go. That's how you use this free, oh, Tesser, whatever, who gives a fuck? I had to, I'm standing behind the camera. So there you go, I'm connected to the, my Kali Linux machine. And my screen is small, I have a small Android, but if you scroll, if you move it, you can see the entire desktop. See, you can see the top, and you can see the, it's connected Wi-Fi, you can see the clock, and you can even, here we'll, we'll just, you, we'll click on the application menu. It, it should work. There it goes. See? The drop down menu opened. And you can expand it. You can make it larger. Now we can go back up here. Now we can see the. I'm actually controlling my, and my Kali Linux with my Android. Whoops. We can go back. The first time I logged in, it took a little while. But it's pretty quick. And I'm using a, a, a G. I'm using a G router. All right, hopefully you were able to hear me okay. If not, you were able to see me. So there we go. I can even, I can show you again. I can expand this. So 
you can connect to your Kali Linux box from your Android with the remote to go RDP. It's free. See?